Nigeria's October 2020 inflation report. Federal government presents 2020 finance bill to National Economic Council slashes import duties, levies, and reduces minimum tax. President Buhari approves the establishment of an infrastructure company. The National Bureau of Statistics released Consumer Price Index during the week, with headline inflation increasing by 14.23% year-on-year. This represents a 52 basis points higher than the rate recorded in September at 13.71%, marking the 14 months consecutive increase in inflation level since August 2019. Similarly, the headline index increased by 1.54% month-on-month in October 2020, indicating 0.06% rate higher and the rate recorded in September 2020, 1.48%. The percentage change in the average composite price index for the 12 months period ending October 2020 over the average of the CPI for the previous 12 months period was 12.66%, showing a 0.22% point from 12.44% recorded in October 2020. Upward pressure in the prices of bread and cereals, potatoes, fish, fruits, alcoholic and beverages Yam, among other tubers, drove the composite food index upward by 17.38% compared to 16.66% recorded in September 2020. Notably, food sub-index increased by 1.96% on month-on-month basis, indicating a 0.08% points higher than 1.88% in September. The 2020 finance bill that seeks to provide more tax incentives for Nigerian businesses and individuals was formally presented during the week to state governors under the aegis of the National Economic Council at a meeting presided over by Vice President Professor Yemi Osibanjo, SAM. Some highlights of the proposed bill, which is now headed to the National Assembly, include reduction in duties on tractors from 35 to 10 percent, reduction in duties on motor vehicles for the transportation of goods from 35 to 10 percent. Reduction of levy on motor vehicles for the transportation of persons from 35 to 5%. Exemption of small companies from payment of education tax under the tertiary education trust fund TED fund companies with less than 25 million turnover are eligible. 50% reduction in minimum tax from 0.5% to 0.25% for gross turnover for financial years ending between January 1st, 2020 and December 31st, 2021. Granting of tax relief to companies that donated to COVID-19 relief fund under the private sector coalition, CACOVID. Clarification that only compensation for loss of office up to 10 million naira will be tax exempt. And that clarification is employer's obligation to account for tax on payments relating to compensation for loss in the office. Introduction of software acquisition as qualifying capital expenditure to improve the ease of doing business. President Mohamed Buhari during the week approved the establishment of an infrastructure company wholly focused on critical infrastructure investment in Nigeria. The infrastructure company, as stated, will raise funding from the Central Bank of Nigeria, Nigeria Sovereign Investment Authority, pension funds, and local and foreign private sector development financiers. This was officially confirmed via the presidency's official Twitter handle. The details of the new infrastructure company will be made available in due course. That will be all for this edition of the Weekend Review. You can join our website www.proshengi.com to get further updates with our new stories, analysis and articles. To come your way again, thank you for being part of this program and have a nice day.